You ready? Yes, I'm 20 ready. seconds on the clock, please. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we asked 100 men, name something that might be too hot for you. A woman. Tell me a word that rhymes with dunk. Hunk. Name a sh big shoe size for a man. Uh, 12. Fill in the blank, jolly blank. Green giant. Name something at the circus that a three-year-old might be scared of. The clown. Come on, girl. All right, let's go. We asked 100 men, name something that might be too hot for you. You said... A woman survey said... <laughs> Tell me a word that rhymes with dunk. You said... Honk survey said... Okay. Name a big shoe size for a man. You said... 12 survey said... Yeah. Fill in the blank, jolly blank. You said... Green Giant, survey said. Oh. Name something at the circus that a three-year-old might be scared oh. of. You said... <laughs> clown, survey said. Okay. Oh. All right, let's go. Come on, Dee. All right, Dee, got good news for you. Your wife did exactly what she needed to do. You need 91. Okay. All right, let's remind everybody LeBron's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, man. Here we go. We asked 100 men, name something that might be too hot for you. Um, pass. Tell me a word that rhymes with dunk. Bunk. Name a big shoe size for a man. 15. Fill in the blank, jolly blank. Roger. Name something at the circus that a three-year-old might be scared of. Clown. <laughs> Try again. Um, the tiger. We asked 100 men, name something that might be too hot for you. Soup. What? Soup. Okay. Come on, dude. All right, let's see. We asked 100 men, name something that might be too hot for you. You said... Soup, survey said. Peppers okay. was number one. Tell me a word that rhymes with dunk. You said... Bunk. Survey said... Oh. Sunk. Sunk was the number one answer. <laughs> Name a big shoe size for a man. You said... 15. Survey said... 15 was the number one answer. Okay. We need a bunch. Fill in the bank. Jolly blank. You said... Jolly Roger. The hell is that? Pirate. Huh? Pirate. Oh, the pirate. Yeah. Jolly Roger. Survey said... Well, Jolly Rancher was number one. Okay. Man. <laughs> Name something at the circus that a three-year-old might be scared of. You said... Tiger. Survey said... Ah! Clown. Clown was number one. Clown was number one. Five dollars a point. It's a total of 795 bucks. But hey, they're coming right back on Family Feud, everybody. I'm Steve Harvey. And we'll see you next time. All right, you ready? Yes. All right, let's... Uh, 20 seconds on the clock, please. A man has a tough decision to make if the Super Bowl is the same day as what occasion? His wedding. <clears throat> Name someone who might loan you $100 in a pinch. My mom. How many states start with the word new? Four. Name a household appliance that lasts for years. A refrigerator. Now, how many women try to squeeze themselves into? I'm sorry, I didn't say that right. Let me read. Just All right. Name something women try to squeeze themselves into. A dress. All right, let's go. A man got a tough decision to make if the Super Bowl the same day as what? He said... His wedding, survey said... 
<laughs> Name someone who might loan you $100 in a pitch. You said... Mom, survey said... Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. How many states start with the word new? You said... Four. Survey said... Household appliance that lasts for many years, you said. Refrigerator survey said. <laughs> Name something women try to squeeze themselves into, you said. Dress survey said. <laughs> now, Derek. Got to talk to you for a second here. All right, all right. Now, how long you and Labor have been married? Twenty nine beautiful years. Twenty nine <laughs> beautiful years. Well, your boo got a hundred and forty seven oh! points. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! You need fifty three to win it. Okay. But you got to right. focus now. That's gonna be a little bit tougher this time. So we're gonna give you twenty five seconds. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm all ready. Right, let's remind everybody Labor's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. A man has a tough decision to make if the Super Bowl is the same day as what occasion? His anniversary. What name? Someone who might loan you $100 in a pinch. Father. How many states start with the word new? Pass. Name a household appliance that lasts for many years. Uh, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Try again. Stove. Name someone women try... Same, name something women try to squeeze themselves into. Dress. Mm -hmm. Try again. Shoes. All right, we need 53 points. A man's got a tough decision to make if the Super Bowl is the same day as what occasion? You said... <laughs> anniversary. The survey said... Anniversary was the number one Ooh, answer. Yeah. Yeah. That took a lot of pressure off right yeah. there. <laughs> Name someone who might loan you $100 in a pinch. You said... Your father. She said her mother. That's about how it go. The survey says... <laughs> Number one. Well, they did it. Two day total. Twenty thousand seven hundred ninety five bucks, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. Yeah, I'm Steve Harvey, and we'll see you next time, folks. All right, you ready? Yes. Twenty seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. On a scale of one to ten, when you look in the mirror, how much do you like what you see? Eight. Name a part of the body that moves a lot. The booty. Name something that comes after the word safe. House. Tell me something you'd hate to discover has a hole in it. Uh, my blouse. Tell me the night of the week that guys get together for poker night. Uh, Saturday. All right. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, when you look in the mirror, how much do you like what you see? You said... Eight. Survey said... Yep. Name a part of the body that moves a lot. You said... <laughs> the booty. <laughs> Survey said... Oh. Name something that comes after the word safe. You said... House. Survey said... Okay. Tell me something you'd hate to discover has a hole in it. You said... Blouse. Survey said... Tell me the night of the week the guys get together for poker night. You said... Saturday. Survey said... Okay. Uh, All right. All right, Derek, let's go. All right, Derek. The 
board did almost what she needed to do, about halfway. She got 90, you need 110. That's good. That, that works. That works. That works for me. We can make it happen. All right. You ready? <sighs> yes. All right, let's remind everybody Labor's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. On a scale of 1 to 10, when you look in the mirror, how much do you like what you see? Six. Name a part of the body that moves a lot. Arms. Name something that comes after the word safe. No, safe cracker. And tell me something you'd hate to discover has a hole in it. My socks. Uh -huh. try, try again. Shoes. Uh -huh. Tell me, that's all clothes. Tell me the night of the week the guys get together for poker night. Uh -huh. Fridays. Okay. okay. Fridays. All right, we need one ten. On a scale of one to ten, when you look in the mirror, how much do you like what you see? You said six. Survey said. Ah. Number one answer was seven. Name a part of the body that moves a lot. You said arms. Survey said legs. Legs was the number one answer. Name something that comes after the word safe. You said safe cracker. Survey said. <laughs> safe house and safe home was number one. Tell me something you'd hate to discover has a hole in it. Number one answer was clothes and shoes. They were the same. Oh, That's why okay, clothes and okay, shoes is... Okay. That's all okay. the same answer. All right, all right. Tell me the night of the week the guys get together for poker night and you said... Friday survey said... Boy, that would have did it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have did it too. Number one answer was Friday night. Well, five dollars a point. They got eight hundred thirty bucks. They got a three-day total of twenty-one thousand six hundred and twenty-five bucks, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. Everybody, I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. All right, you ready? Yes. All right, twenty seconds on the clock, please. Name a sport where a man is likely to get some teeth knocked out. Football. Give me a word that rhymes with round. Hound. How much free time do you actually have during the day? Uh, four hours. Fill in the blank. Ice cream blank. Sunday. Name someone who doesn't mind the sight of blood. Uh, doctor. Name a sport where a man's likely to get some teeth knocked out. You said football. Survey said. Oh. Give me a word that rhymes with round. You said hound. Survey said. Oh. How much free time do you actually have during the day? You said four hours. I wish. Survey said. Fill in the blank, ice cream blank. You said Sunday. Survey said. Okay, here we go, here we go. Name someone who doesn't mind the sight of blood. You said doctor. Survey said. <laughs> Derek. Give me good news, Steve. Give me good uh, news. Well, she did better than she needed to do. She got 110. Okay. You need 90. Okay, okay. That, that ain't, that's good news. Yes, sir. All right, we can do this. Ready? Okay. All right, let's remind everybody the board's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, you got focus. <sighs> okay, here we go. Name a sport where a man is likely to get some teeth knocked out. Boxing. Give me a word that rhymes with round. Pound. Try again. Oh, I'm sorry, that's it. How much free time do you actually have during the day? Uh, four hours. Try again. Five uh -huh. hours. Fill in the blank, ice cream blank. Sunday. Uh -huh. Try again. Sandwich. Name someone who doesn't mind the sight of blood. A doctor. Uh -huh. Try again. A nurse. Wow. Come on, boy. <laughs> Name a sport where a man is likely to get some teeth knocked out. You said... Boxing survey said. Yeah! 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 
Hockey was the number one answer. 45 points away. Give me a word that rhymes with round. You said pound. Survey said pound and sound was tied for the top answer. We 16 points away from the money. How much free time you actually have during the day? You said five hours. I got, I got to rethink my life, man. <laughs> Survey says... Oh! oh. Zero, none. Zero, wow. Zero, none was wow. a number. Wow, really? Yeah, okay. they must have asked me. <laughs> we 14 away, fill in the blank. Ice cream blank. You said... Sandwich. Survey said... was the number one answer. Well, they got a four-day total. 41,625 bucks. And remember, the Marriott family is coming right back to play for a chance to drive out of here in a brand new car. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. All right, family, here's the situation. If it's there, your family steals, your family gets a chance to play sudden death. But if it's not there, the Marriott family wins the game and the car. Name an occupation that will give you the best chance of getting into heaven. A therapist, Steve. This yeah. is for yeah. sudden death or the win. A therapist! <laughs> Seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name something you'd be embarrassed to admit you were thrown out of. A bar. Name a kind of animal that performs. A uh, dog. Name a country known for its breathtaking scenery. Uh, How long after the appointment does your doctor actually see you? 30 minutes. Fill in the blank, candy blank. Corn. Name a country known for its breathtaking scenery. Bermuda. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <man. laughs> All right, let's see. Name something you'd be embarrassed to admit you were thrown out of. You said the bar. Survey said. Uh, okay. Name a kind of animal that performs. You said dog. Survey said. <laughs> Name a country known for its breathtaking scenery. You said Bermuda. Survey said. Mm. That's all right. How long after the appointment does your doctor actually see you? You said 30 minutes. Survey said. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Fill in the blank. Candy blank. You said candy corn. Survey said. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek, you done played this game pretty good, sir. The board got 81, you need 119, but you are just the guy to get it done. Yes, sir, let's, right, let's do this. let's remind everybody LaBoer's answers. 25 Ooh. seconds on the clock, please. Come on, man. Name something you'd be embarrassed to admit you were thrown out of. School. Name a kind of animal that performs. Tigers. Name a country known for its breathtaking scenery. 
Uh, pass. How long after the appointment time does your doctor actually see you? 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Try again. 15 minutes. Fill in the blank. Candy blank. Candy cane. Name a country known for its breathtaking cinnamon. Vegas. Really? My favorite country, Good answer. too. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer, Pops. Well, let's go. <laughs> Name something you'd be embarrassed to admit you were thrown out of. You said? School. Survey said? Yep. Yep. Bar and nightclub was the number one answer. We need a 101. Name a kind of animal that performs. You said? Tigers. Survey said? Oh! Elephant. Elephant was number one. We need some big ones. <laughs> Name a country known for its breathtaking scenery. You my man, boy. Cause this is my favorite. You said my damn favorite country, too. Vape. Yeah. So they said. Uh, United States was number one. It is really a beautiful country, though. How long after the appointment time does your doctor actually see you? You said 15 minutes. Survey said 30 minutes was the number one answer. 78 away. Fill in the blank. Candy blank. You said candy cane. Survey said Number one answer. Well, they got a five day total. 42,440 bucks. And they're driving out of here in a brand new car. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. Your ass on YouTube. Your whole damn family on YouTube. Your whole damn family gonna be on YouTube. This about to be on YouTube. I'm gonna end up oh on YouTube. My dear gracious. <laughs>